The Brothers Karamazov, Book 11, Chapter 1. Book 11 uh, goes back to the story that we traced through the first nine books that uh, book number 10 I uh, diverged into the story of Ilyusha and Kolya and the other boys. Now back in book 11, we're starting to follow uh, Alexei and his uh, busy uh, days again. And so we see him going a little bit, maybe surprisingly, to see Grushenka. So we see what's uh, happened in the two months that have elapsed since Dmitri's uh, uh, arrest. And evidently, uh, it's been uh, Alyosha's habit to uh, occasionally be meeting up with Grushenka. And it seems like the main subject of their meetups have been uh, they're both going to see uh, Dimitri, and they're uh, comparing notes, and they're meeting to talk about uh, Dimitri. But their discussions about their meetings with Dimitri prove, uh, prove informative about a lot of the other uh, characters. So uh, not only have they been uh, visiting Dimitri, but that uh, nasty old Rakitin uh, has been too, so we met him. Uh, saying all sorts of negative stuff about Father Zosima way back in the end of book two. Then we saw him saying some uh, crude stuff uh, to Alyosha and uh, bringing him over to uh, Grushenka's house. And we saw him just in the previous book having a negative influence, uh, at least from Dostoevsky's perspective, uh, having a negative influence on young Kolya, teaching him to be a, a little uh, socialist. And so perhaps he's putting some uh, bad ideas in our Mitya in Dmitri's head as well. But as we uh, see that Alyosha is visiting Grushenka, we see uh, a new Grushenka, and that is um, not only is her, her face a little bit thinner and more serious, but we see that a redemption, a conversion has taken place in her life, and she is a, a, a nicer, calmer, more mature, redeemed uh, woman now, and not a uh, whatever she was before. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit less mature, a little bit less kind-hearted Grushenka. Grushenka has changed. So anyway, as, uh, as Alyosha and Grushenka uh, talk about Dmitri, looks like there's some two-way jealousy going on. Uh, Grushenka is uh, jealous of Dmitri in that she is worried that he will uh, have some feelings for old Katerina Ivanova. Why? Because Katerina Ivanova has money and she's not only sponsoring a doctor to come visit uh, young Ilyusha and his family, but she has also hired an attorney, uh, the best counsel, uh, all the way from Moscow to uh, help uh, Dmitri with his defense. And so uh, Grushenka is jealous of that, that uh, Dmitri might uh, fall in love with her because of her uh, deep pockets and her uh, kindness in this regard. Kindness in this regard. But uh, the jealousy doesn't just go one way. The jealousy is a two-way street, and Dmitri is uh, jealous of Grushenka. Why? Because uh, he, uh, he thinks of all the, the, the men that will pursue her while he's in prison, and so she is uh, still funding the, the two Poles, the one that she was engaged to and the other uh, guy from uh, Poland. She is helping them out in their tough time, and they're kind of uh, using her for that, uh, hitting her up for money every day, and she's giving in and providing for them. And this uh, the makes, uh, this makes uh, Dimitri furious, and he thinks about the other uh, men that uh, are pursuing. And so there's this uh, jealousy going both ways uh, between Grushenka and Dimitri. Also, we see uh, evidence of uh, Grushenka's redemption in that she has taken in the old uh, Maximov that we saw uh, two books ago, uh, there uh, at the inn, uh, getting uh, drunk and partying with uh, with Dmitri and the Poles and Grushenka. She has taken in this uh, sort of pathetic old man uh, in the last days of his life. He's destitute. He doesn't have anywhere else to go. And Grushenka very kindly has taken him in. The only thing that uh, seems... Uh, real important for the uh, the plot of the entire novel that's in this chapter is that one uh, revelation, well, a revelation is made about the name of the town, but the other revelation that's made is um, 
Grushenka lets it slip that Ivan has been secretly uh, visiting Dmitri and that it is explicitly a secret in that Dmitri uh, promised, uh, made Grushenka promise to him that, uh, that uh, she would not tell Alyosha of his meetings with Ivan. So in that way, Ivan has moved back into the center of stage. We haven't seen him in quite a few books and he, uh, he literally uh, disappeared and now he's back and, uh, and where the reader is left to wonder uh, what could Ivan be up to? What do him and uh, Dmitri have planned? Grushenka doesn't know. Alyosha is a little bit bothered, a little bit concerned. Uh, what could his brothers be up to? that uh, they are keeping from him.